Good morning, guys. So, today is going to be one of the first of many vlogs to come, like in a row. I have not been keeping up with the daily vlogs as much as I wanted to, but uh, right now I am about to mow the lawn. Um, and then I don't know what else today is going to bring, but I know one thing right after this, I need to take a shower because I stink. Okay, guys, so tell me. I'm having this problem with my with this lawnmower right now. Have you ever like cut the grass and oh crap, I left the key over there. I forgot. Have you ever like cut your grass and you like you know yeah it's it's a little wet but you know I can cut it. Well, when you start cutting it, you're like oh crap, why didn't I wait a little while? Well, that's what I'm doing right now because <laughs> I'm having to clean it out, like scrub all the uh, completely crumple or how do I put it like scrape out like scrape out all the grass that is like attached to the lawn to the inside of the lawnmower so that makes mowing the lawn like very hard and I and now I know I, sh I think I should have waited maybe just a couple hours just like until like the like the weather might have dried it up because I mean I tell you one thing it is a beautiful day out here I mean look at that Well, I don't know if I'm pointing the sun or not. Oh well. Oh. Nope. Oh well. Jeez. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean it's 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 a little difficult to mow the lawn. I'll talk to you guys when I'm done. All right, I'm actually here at the library right now. I'm actually in the sports section. Uh, I'm borrowing like four movies right now: The Hot Tub Time Machine. And, uh, did you hear about the Morgans of Her Locker in the Last Airbender? Um, I never seen the Hot Tub Time Machine. I heard it was really funny. I've seen the Hurt Locker. I've, it's like a Hurt Locker is like the best one, like one of the best war movies I've actually seen. And uh, also, um, I think it actually shows people, you know, what you know what the guys overseas go through every day. Um, did you hear about the Morgans? I actually wanted to go see. I actually wanted to go see that one. And the last year, but I wanted to go see that one, but I just didn't have time. So all my eyes are in the library. <laughs> That's what Adria always calls it. She always calls it vlogging, but it's always vlogging. She always get, she always says vlog, not vlog. <laughs> oh god, she she cracks me up every time she does it because I keep telling her it's vlog, not vlog. Like you know, I gotta I gotta do my vlog today. Yeah. Like the new glasses, guys. I think they're real stylish. And uh, they actually, and these these are actually just you know style glasses. But, you know, when I actually put them on, I actually see a lot better, too. Um, I actually do need to get a good prescription glass that actually look like these. Because uh, um, when I was at Fort Benning, like, I think I told you guys in an earlier vlog that um, I, do, I do actually need glasses. Um, but, uh, but, you know, these ones, these ones I'll have to do right now. Just until I get a good pair of eyeglasses. <laughs> And best part about this, I haven't even gotten any weird looks around here. I've just been vlogging right now. And you guys are on the shelf right now. You guys are, you know, the wilderness section. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I mean, i tell you one thing, guys. The Hurt Locker, it, I, when I um, actually go to Job Corps and I actually do get a paycheck, uh, I'm actually going to be setting a budget for myself on what I want to buy and how much I'm going to save per month. And I think I'm going to be spending like fifty to eighty dollars uh, per paycheck, and then what? I, the mo more expensive stuff that I have, I'll wait uh, two page. I'll wait two paychecks later, and then I'll buy that. But uh, I do want to go buy the Hurt Locker because, for one thing, the Hurt Locker is one of my more favorite war movies. Um, I actually give it a perfect ten out of ten because, for one thing, it shows uh, the most dangerous job in the, basically, in the army. Uh, overseas wise but it also shows you know what uh, what these soldiers go through overseas you know stress wise you know they're missing their families all the time and I tell you one thing we miss you guys so you need you guys need to come back home safe and sound um, right. we actually did just get uh, um, a couple a, a couple hundred uh, I think 200 uh, soldiers that are that uh, go to joint uh, joint base Lewis McCord um, and uh, congratulations, welcome home, guys. We love you, and we thank you for what you do. Um, uh, I, I, I think I, what I heard on the news was uh, 
it was, um, oh shit, I'm trying to figure out, uh, oh, uh, I think it was a security and teaching other soldiers, you know, basically the security procedures of what they do over there, so I think that's what, what it was, um, but I gotta say, welcome home, guys, we missed you, and we're, and we're glad you actually came home safe, and we're okay, proud. uh, next topic on the vlog, what the hell is wrong with you people in Vancouver? You Canadians are weird. You're rioting over the fact that your team lost? Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, I, would under, I would understand you guys rioting um, if your team won, but your team lost. Why the hell would you riot? <laughs> but guess what? You guys are idiots. You guys are a bunch of drunken idiots. Because you take that sport way too seriously. I mean, I understand fans taking... Uh, sports, uh, sports, like really, their sport really seriously. I mean, I take my football, I take my baseball, my soccer, and my ba and uh, partially my basketball seriously. Only when it comes to the, only when it comes to LeBron James in the playoffs. But uh, uh, the point is, um, if you're gonna be a die hard, like you bleed this team's color. If you get if you get scratched, like if I if I was to get cut, I would bleed Seattle Mariners, like like navy green or whatever the hell their colors are uh, you know that's me see that's the type of guy I am but but when what like I'll give you an example I'm wearing the hat of you can see my team the Seattle Seahawks when they went to the Super Bowl uh, on uh, in uh, when they when they went to the Super Bowl okay okay I was pissed off I was so pissed I cried I literally cried when they lost the Super Bowl but um I didn't go out and burn stuff and punch drunken idiots or flip over a car. No, that's not what you do. Um, basically, here's how you, if you are a sports fan, here's how you need to grieve. Like like I said, if you're a diehard sports fan and you're grieving, okay? If you're a diehard sports fan and you, and you grieve, okay? First of, all, yeah. put it First of all, if you guys are wondering which section I'm looking at, I'm looking at the volcano section, like right over around here. I can't figure out which book I actually want to read. Um, I actually did borrow uh, Walter Lord's uh, A Night to Remember, and that is actually a very good book. Read it, guys. Definitely read it. I'll, I'll, uh, never mind. So anyway, guys, if you are a diehard sports fan, um, don't be going out and... Hi. I'm vlogging here. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now I don't even know what section I'm in. Um, but anyway, if you're a diehard sports fan... Um, grieve in a different way. Don't go out and burn stuff and flip over cars because that's just completely stupid. And uh, it makes you look like a complete idiot. Like I am, like I am now. <laughs> Let's get back to the point. Um, the point is, um, okay. All right, let me give you guys another example, okay? Uh, I'll, give, I'll give you a couple examples, okay? Um, the last time the Mariners were in the playoffs was in 2001. And they were actually playing against the Yankees. And, I, and as an 11-year-old, I was still a diehard Seattle Mariner fan. I mean, I literally bled the team. I knew all the statistics. I knew all the players on there. But here's the thing. When they, when they actually lost the New York Yankees, which I think is a bunch of crap because they were the best team in baseball, and I think the Yankees cheated in that, but, th but that's just a different story. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is it, my team lost. I was pissed. I was sad. But I didn't go out and destroy a city. I didn't go out and destroy a city because of it. Um, and the Seahawks again, uh, uh, again, the Seahawks, when they lost to Chicago, I literally, I, or actually when they won against, uh, the New Orleans Saints, okay, um, there was actually riots, I believe, there was actually riots because they won, they won a huge game, um, don't go out and do that, especially if your team won, I mean, why would you, why would you go out and burn something and riot and flip over cars because your team won something, <laughs> um, why would you do that? I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Does that make any sense to you guys? Um, leave your comments below what you actually think about this. But, um, I mean, um, like Laker fans, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna diss on Laker fans right now, but, you know, the Laker fans, um, I think they got swept. I think they, or I think they lost the series 4-2. to I don't know. But, you know, Laker fans, they grieve. They grieve about their team losing because they know the team should have three-peated it, which I think would have been complete crap if Kobe actually three-peated, but that's not the point. People, people just keep looking at me because, because they're thinking, what the hell am I doing and why am I talking to myself? Um, I'm not talking to myself. I'm actually doing a daily vlog. But um, anyway, so uh, like I said, um, Laker fans, they had their own... We 
wit way of grieving. And they don't do it by going out and burning something. They just, uh... <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, they don't go out and burn stuff. They just grieve. They grieve in their own way. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, if your team wins, don't go out and burn stuff and riot. If your team loses, don't go out and burn stuff and riot either. Don't do it. Period. But I tell you this, I mean, but I've also seen, like, other, like, other world sports like Europe, they, they are just, they're crazy about their soccer. And, uh, there's no talking any sense into them because, for one thing, uh, you know, uh, Europeans, they're hard to, they're hard to knock some sense into. <laughs> I'm not trying. I'm not trying to diss on anybody. <laughs> um, but basically, what I'm trying to say is, you know, grieve in your own way. Don't grieve with a loss of your team in the championship by rioting. It's just no good because, for one thing, um, you're gonna you're probably you're gonna hurt people. You're gonna probably get yourself hurt, and you and people also might be getting killed. And also, if they actually catch you. You're gonna get put in jail, so you're gonna be get, you're gonna get screwed anyway. Your team got screwed, and so did you. <laughs> okay, now so since I can talk in a normal voice, uh, quick reminder, quick, or just quick reminder. Um, oh, so I want to tell you guys uh, on Twitter, I'm actually follow. I am being followed by the co-founder uh, of Miami Inc., uh, David O. Steinberg. I believe, yeah, David O. Steinberg. I'm actually being followed by him. And by the way, guys, follow me on Twitter at IrishCarBomb21. Yeah, so I said before that David O. Steinberg is actually following me. And uh, check it out. So here it is. I have 17 followers. Bingo. Right here. David Steinberg. See, I was just, I was just proving to you guys that David O. Steinberg is actually following me. Just to prove a point.